kind of helped to make the arrangements for this place. Uh, but one of my concerns is that even though it's, it's more expensive, that it's not expensive enough to prohibit, especially families you know, who, who uh, want to make sure they, they, they come back if this uh, prevents them from doing so. Because one of my goals is to make sure this feels is a place that's accessible to everyone, uh, especially people who haven't been here in a long time, and there are still people on our list of family members who haven't been here and want to make sure they feel they feel invited, which is, I guess, another new business issue. It's um, We've got family members now are spreading out. We've got family members in Tennessee, in Texas, uh, in Albuquerque, also in, uh, in California, in Oregon. In Europe. And in, I, in, in Europe. In Europe too, but the, I guess the issue is how do we make that use technology to make this family more accessible to them, and um, and I don't really know quite how to do it. I think this iPad. idea, perhaps even having a meeting online where people could view it on some kind of website, but I'd like to invite folks to think about that issue. Younger folks, perhaps in particular, who can think about ways to use technology to bring other folks in here, or what we might do to, to make this larger, because the goal is to invite everyone to have this experience that I think is a very important one. I want to it would be great when, you know, if Hank and Joni and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Alexandra and uh, Elise can come too, and that would be a nice thing we saw them last They give their best. Last they year. told me to give their best to the family. Um, fall meeting, do we have a, a, a venue?